How's it going guys? It is 9.07 p.m. 19th of April here in Japan. We have a past level question for pathology in trauma medicine to CK. All right, if you're studying for step one, this is an important diagnosis. All right, I'll run through some high yield points for you. Don't worry. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give me a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical, mehl man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. 28 year old man, two month history, left facial swelling, fatigue, occasional night sweats, fever. Physical exam shows a pedospinomegaly, palpable left superclavicular lymph node. X ray of the chest shows a mediastinal mass. Question wants to know the next best step in diagnosis. Let's just hop to the answer choice here. Should I say? Antiacetylcholine receptor antibiotic, or wrong fucking answer. Would refer to myasthenia gravis, okay? Postsynaptic nicotinic. They care about that on an NBME exam. They ask muscarinic nicotinic. You need to know it's uh, nicotinic postsynaptic acetylcholine receptors, uh, antibodies against those receptors that you have in myasthenia gravis. And a lot we can talk about diplopia, dysphagia, ptosis. That's an important triad, okay? 40 year old female office worker, classically worse at the end of the day. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, biopsy, correct answer. You're going to biopsy the left supraclavicular lymph node. This is called Verkhoff node, spelled Verkow. Trucio sign of malignancy. Okay. Actually, I'm being, I'm being a fucking asshole. Troisier. Okay. Those of you who speak French, no fucking idea. All right. So Troisier is how you spell it. True CO sign of malignancy is migratory thrombophlebitis from head of pancreas, adenocarcinoma classically. But Troisier sign of malignancy, holy shit, that's going to be a palpable Verkhoff node in the left supraclavicular region, which can reflect gastric malignancy, visceral malignancy, or in this case, this is Hodgkin lymphoma. Okay, so I've seen this on the NVMe exam. And this mediastinal mass, not a thymoma. That's often confusing for students. This is just mediastinal lymphadenopathy, okay? So I could have mentioned before for myasthenia gravis, you can sometimes get myasthenia gravis as a perineoplastic syndrome of thymoma. As I already said, it's not the case here. But in Hodgkin, they'll throw this mediastinal mass in there and they'll put thymoma as a distractor. It's fucking wrong. All right. So this is mediastinal lymphadenopathy. You can get this Verkhoff node, you can get hepatosplenomegaly. And in 100% of questions, you're going to have a painless lateral neck mass or facial swelling, which is just lymphadenopathy. I'd say maybe three out of four Hodgkin questions will mention painless lateral neck mass. One out of four will say this facial swelling. Okay, it's the same thing. B symptoms, night sweats, fever. You're going to biopsy a lymph node to look for Reed Sternberg cells. They're B cells with an owl eye appearance and they're CD 1530 positive. This colloquialism, owl eye, not only does it refer to Reed Sternberg cells and Hodgkin, but completely unrelated, it's also what we see for CMV. Okay, so this is Hodgkin lymphoma, very important. US simile doesn't give a fuck about the treatment. There are chemotherapeutic regimens that some resources will preach. Nonsense. Okay, I haven't seen US simile give a fuck. Real quick, Trexier Myron Ferritin, wrong fucking answer. This would be hemochromatosis, all right? So autosomal recessive chromosome 6 HFE gene. They'll give you bronze diabetes sometimes, hyperpigmentation. You get arthritis, which is actually pseudogout, lengthy tangential discussion, cardiomyopathy. You can get uh, infertility, okay? So miscellaneous findings. Wrong fucking answer. Check D. Check D. The fuck am I saying? Check serum LDH. Wrong fucking answer. Okay, choice D here. So one thing I can comment on is, and this is going to sound kind of weird, Yosemite wants you to know that increased ferritin and increased LDH are poor prognostic markers for Hodgkin lymphoma. Not the correct answer in this case, but... For example, sometimes on 2CK, they'll give you a big fucking paragraph of Hodgkin. They'll say LDH, ferritin's increased. You're like, what's that about? Okay, just poor prognostic indicators. So these can float around in vignettes. And, and there's, there's an NBME question that asks directly for increased serum LDH as a poor prognostic indicator for Hodgkin. Okay, so ferritin and LDH. But as I just fucking said, there's an actual question that asks straight up for increased serum LDH as a poor prognostic indicator for Hodgkin. In this case, wrong fucking answer.
choice the ECT of the chest, wrong fucking answer. I mean, miscellaneous, okay? If we want to further evaluate things like thymoma, okay? You want to uh, evaluate for lung disease, get higher resolution imaging after a chest x-ray, just a miscellaneous distractor. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal, Nick, to make more content, like my stuff, subscribe my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.